Hey, before we get to today's video, I just wanted to make a little announcement. I have a Patreon now. The link will be in the description below as well as across your screen down here somewhere. So check it out if you are interested in supporting me and making this a little bit more sustainable. This is me as a full-time public school teacher, a mom of two, and a visual artist. None of those which are fruitful ventures. If you want to make it a little more financially sustainable, check out my Patreon. I would really appreciate it. And I hope that that will help me to make two videos a week for free on YouTube a little more sustainable. We're going to paint another painting on this 30 by 40 canvas because I have several of these canvases that we're going to do a neutral metallic color scheme that will match the finish on the frame and I think they'll look really nice. I did one already in my last video that was a black background and I think this time we're going to do a gold background because I get a lot of people telling me that I don't use enough gold that it disappears and they want to see more of the gold in the finished product. So we'll just start with the background being gold and I think that we will get plenty of gold in the finished product that way. So here we go. So we'll start by coating the canvas with the gold. That is iridescent gold by a golden brand. My favorite paint. So this gold seems to I don't know, it, I guess because it's lighter and maybe more transparent, I just don't feel like I'm coating the canvas as well as I do with black or white. Uh, so I'm going to supplement and not use all my gold and I'm going to do like a corner in brown just for variation and just not to waste all my gold. See just where I was swiping. I just feel like the thin spots really show a lot, which makes me think that the gold is a more transparent t uh, pigment than the black or the white. And I don't know how the burnt sienna is going to behave, but at least I'm not using all one color to, I'm not wasting all of one color. I can sort of spread the wealth between the two. Whoops. I start with black or white and I put the color in and then swipe it with maybe a little more white on top but this time we're going to put the color on the bottom. I'm going to go with a little bit of black first. I'm also going to try to keep the, the amount of paint, the volume of paint to a minimum because I think I'm tempted to tilt because I think I've got too much paint. So, I'm gonna try not to pour too much paint onto it. Still want all the colors though. So that was first carbon black and the second cup was micaceous oxide. And this is iridescent silver, which I might do more of that. Do one more cup of the iridescent silver because it's pretty. See, I said I wasn't going to use too much paint, but here I go. Maybe half a cup. And then And maybe a little more of the golden brown just to sort of incorporate the background into the foreground. over 
here because there isn't any brown on this side. Okay, so I've got my stripe. I'm going to swipe and we'll see how it goes. Sort of regretting the black at the moment. I thought I needed it for contrast, but now I'm thinking that the dark brown could have been the contrast. That's too much brown, but I guess it'll be okay because there won't be that much over here. And I think since that first that first paper towel was a little short. I'm going to go short on this side and then do one in the center. it along for a second and watch what happens. Meanwhile, I'm touching up the sides. I don't really know what to think about this one yet. Uh, the gold is not going to show its goldness until after it dries so it's hard to predict exactly what's going to go on here um, there's a lot more gold showing than I would normally do but I did have some complaints on some of my other larger neutral swipes that the gold wasn't showing through enough so here <laughs> uh, we'll see there's plenty of gold in this one well, we seem to be having bad luck lately, or, well, the bugs seem to be having bad luck lately. It happened again. We came in to check on how this painting was drying, and we had a bug, a gnat, a fruit fly of some sort, land and try really hard to get out while skidding across my painting, and it gave up its struggles right there. Altering my composition a little bit, but again, maybe, maybe once it's fully dry, because it is sort of still wet right there, you can see the sheen. 
once it's dry, maybe we can try to disguise that. I don't know. I don't know. Ay, ay, ay. I apologize to the fruit flies, but I'm also wanting an apologize, apology from them. I really like the way this one turned out. It's so sunny. Um, I guess the gold doesn't look as gold as I was expecting. It does have a metallic tinge to it where the silver is, but the gold sort of lost its metallic shimmer. But I like it, it's super sunny, especially with this one blue frame that I had. I'm digging it. Unfortunately, we had another catastrophe with this painting. We lost a soldier. Poor little fruit fly. He struggled and struggled and gave up the fight. And I'm gonna have to try to touch that painting up right there, cause that just doesn't work in my opinion. Um, we'll do that in a separate, a separate video later. I just wanted to get this video out there so you could see how it turned out, how it dried. We'll work on the touch-ups when we have more time. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharp.com. Bye.